Russian state media claims Tuesday that a new Bumerang armored personnel carrier will enter service at the end of the year. According to RIA Novosti, the acceptance tests of new wheeled combat vehicles based on the Boomerang platform have started. It is about K-16 armored personnel carriers and K-17 infantry fighting vehicles, a military official said in a media report. The completion of acceptance tests is scheduled for the end of this year. Based on their results, the combat vehicles will receive permission for serial production. This new Russian armored vehicle has a crew of three, including a commander, gunner, and driver. It can carry nine soldiers. The vehicle has a welded hull and turret. Its armor is modular, so protection level can be tailored to suit mission requirements. So far, its protection level is classified. According to the Russian Defense Ministry television station TV Zvezda, its armor can withstand a tank blast and is armed with machine guns and anti-air weapons. The Boomerang platform has had a long and somewhat tortured development, the vehicle has design flaws, including the need to replace equipment and components due to restrictions on their supply to Russia. It is worth noting that a similar announcement was made already in 2015, when the Russian media announced that a new generation of armored vehicles would be mass-produced to replace the iconic Soviet-era BTR-80. There are two variants of the Bumerang. The K-16 APC, Armored Personnel Carrier, and the K-17 IFV, Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The K-16 APC is fitted with a small turret armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun. The K-17 IFV is fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a 2A42 30mm automatic cannon. Two launchers of Cornet M anti-tank guided missiles are mounted on each side of the turret. The VPK-7829 Boomerang is referred to as a combat-wheeled vehicle because it will serve several different roles, similar to America's strikers. Other vehicle platform variations will fulfill different roles in addition to armored transport, including as an armored ambulance, command post vehicle, reconnaissance vehicle, anti-tank missile carrier, air defense missile launcher, fire support vehicle, and mortar carrier. Further versions could include a light tank, plans to create a version with 57mm autocannon, as well as a version with a 125mm gun for use, as a self-propelled anti-tank gun were confirmed in March 2018, and a self-propelled gun. The Boomerang platform is amphibious, using two water jets. At the opposite of the previous BTR, like BTR-70, series of vehicles, the engine is located at the front instead of the rear. Engine location was a significant drawback of BTR vehicles, where soldiers had to exit the vehicles through cramped side doors. The Boomerang has rear doors and roof hatches for troop entry and exit. Protection is provided by ceramic armor and technologies to prevent shell splinters. The Boomerang is fitted with a 750 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine. In mid-2011, the Russian Ministry of Defense issued a requirement for a new modular wheeled family of armored vehicles, instead of buying the BTR-90.
Development of a new wheeled APC became alongside the new and similarly armed and armored, but tracked Kurganet's 25 infantry fighting vehicle and heavy T-15 Armada IFV. In November 2011, media reports said the new project had been approved. On 21 February 2012, Colonel General Alexander Postnikov said that the Russian army would be taking the first deliveries of the Bumerang prototype in 2013. Large-scale deliveries were to begin in 2015, a milestone that was and remains far from respected. The Bumerang was first seen in public, initially with its turret and cannon shrouded, during rehearsals for the 2015 Moscow Victory Day Parade. The vehicle faced several delays, and in 2020 it was stated that tests of the platform would be finished in 2021, with production starting afterwards. The reason for the delay was that after preliminary trials in 2019, it was decided to make changes to the main body, as a result of which the conditions for soldiers in the troop compartment would be improved, as well as the vehicle's buoyancy. The boomerang was shown for the first time to the public during the rehearsal of the Victory Day military parade in Alabino testing range, near Moscow, in April 2005. The boomerang is a development of an 8x8 armored personnel carrier, launched by the Russian defense industry, to replace the old BTR family, used by the Russian armed forces. In this April 2023 month, K-16 armored personnel carriers and K-17 infantry fighting vehicles are still being tested at an undisclosed military training ground. After completion of the tests at the end of the year, a decision should at last be made to move on to mass production of these new 8x8 combat vehicles.